Hello YouTubers, hello Starfield players, welcome back, Dredus here. Well, as you can see, I have this base set up. And over here I have iso-centered magnets. And then over here is the fabricator. And then I have cobalt in these bins. I have nickel in these bins. These two here are the cobalt and that one and that one are the nickel. Because this is basically, I still want to be able to make this stuff so I have it set up so that I can just have it automatically run. I want to make XP and you make XP by basically going and fabricating stuff. Now I got a ton of these magnets that I can then use to go and build windmills on other planets. So next I'm going to be looking for a planet that I can find either copper silver, copper beryllium, or copper aluminum. And if I can find copper beryllium, then that lets me make comm relays. Because then I'd have the magnets from this spot, and I'd have the rayo stats from the other spot. But I need to find a beryllium and copper deposit together. So really I'm just looking for copper and one of these three, silver, beryllium, or aluminum. Right there. Point 0.9 G. Cold and barren. Everything in the green. Just a big empty place, eh? Okay, so we got beryllium. Aluminum. Good sign. As long as you get a good concentration of both aluminum and beryllium. Right? Meteorite crater. So there, we've surveyed the planet. <laughs> okay, there we go. Aluminum, beryllium, beryllium, aluminum. This feels good right here. So obviously we need solar domes. All right, so then iron and aluminum can make adaptive frames. So we're doing the same thing here that we did at that other base. Because it's a beryllium and aluminum, I can't put them together to make anything, I don't think. So I'm gonna have to ship it out. Okay, so now I have the two boxes, the two machines. I'm gonna add more machines. Like, I still have to have a spot for the ship. It's kind of far. an inter-system link but I need reactive gauge for that one or just a cargo link 
I don't really know just yet. But I need reactive gauge and I also need helium 3. So maybe I'll just let these ones build. Takeoff looks good. So because we have the aluminum and the beryllium, those are two of the ingredients. The other one we need is silver. But if we go to Alpha Centauri, we go back to this world Zane car. This is my iron site, it looks like. So I need a copper site. Inside looks clean. Let's set it down. So yeah, we got copper, copper. And that ship is close. It's a huge copper field right here. Well, I ran out of aluminum, but luckily I'm building... I built this, so I went and I grabbed some aluminum. I'm going to grab some beryllium. And these things are now making me product. I should actually go and collect on another world. Yeah, well, we better check our bins here. What we got here? Tungsten, lead, nickel, plutonium. So, I was going to go and get iron over on Zamka. So, I would have had the base there but I have a base here for the copper and I've got this one here for the nickel and for the cobalt but what I need is I need iron and helium and so I'm gonna do that on this particular planet which is an inferno so here we go we're gonna get both Is it a Spectre? Crimson Fleet? Is he gonna shoot at me? ourselves another ship. It's a cool little one. To run it back to base. Uh-oh, looks like I picked up some contraband. I guess I gotta go to Wolf. The dead. Alright, well, let's try that again.
Yeah, alright, so we do have a helium 3 extractor on a resource vein. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it is something that you can just see. Where is my base? So in that case, I'm going to take this down and hold R. Remove? Yes. Oh yeah, I can put the big one here too. Low on iron again. So this one's going to get the cargo link intersystem. And then I'm going to get a storage bin. I don't know where to put it. I guess I can put it right here. Okay, and then the iron goes to there. And the gas goes to here. And the iron um, it goes automatically to the red, so it's gotta be the red. There we go. Now I should never have to collect iron again. If it ever worked. It's like, why are they not functioning? Full power, power needed. Oh, I know why. It's over here. Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, now we're heading back to another base. We're gonna bring the iron over to another planetary system. Now for Tolomon. All right, everything's going good. Everything's landed where it needed to land. I got a bunch of beryllium. Bunch of aluminum, perfect. So now we need to add Okay, so now we gotta look at where this stuff is. Okay, so this one, yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. This will go to here, and this will go to there. This will also come to another bin. And then it will go to a 
machine. Which will then go to another bin. But this one will be a warehouse. I just got to figure out which one of these two has the material I want to make. So, let's see if we can get the iron coming in. So, we want the one from Grissom. It says here only iron. Okay, so anyway, this is beryllium, right? Yeah, and this should be aluminum. So I need to go and... We gotta figure out why it's not bringing helium. So it's bringing iron, but it's not bringing helium. All right, it's working. Just checked here, I got 56 iron, 53. It's now going through, making the adaptive frames. Alright, well, I didn't end up going and running everything. Looks like it got pretty full. 303 there, 500 there, 500 there, 180 there. Okay, perfect. So it didn't fill up. So now I'm going to XP farm. Malnourished, dehydrated. Oh, now I'm fed. Oh, now I'm hydrated. All right, so what am I after? I'm after these magnets. I've heard people who spend extended periods in low gravity can actually suffer from health problems if they don't exercise to compensate. It's true. Alright, and that's why I put this bin here, so I could throw all these in there. I know what I did wrong with the helium. So the helium, I went and I ran it to the fuel tank on this platform, but I didn't run it to the actual platform for shipping. So now that I did that, I should be able to go over here and we've got helium three as well as iron. So both are gonna be going to the other location. So the gas and the iron go from Grissom over to 
Ptolemon. And then Ptolemy has beryllium and aluminum. So I'm making adaptive frames over here. But I need to be able to send the beryllium and the aluminum over to another place. So in other words, I need another landing pad. I need another landing pad, which means I just need to see where everything is. Let me put it over here. All right, so we'll put this one here. And we'll have the gas comes in here. We'll have to go over to here. And then the aluminum and the beryllium will need to go here. Oh. And we're probably going to need more aluminum. And then we go back to Zamka for the copper. All right, we're going to build one of these inner system cargo link ones. And again, we're going to have to go and add a gas tank and then a warehouse. So we need storage here. And we're going to go and have this go from there to here, here to there. Because it should only be coming out from this location to here, because this is where all the copper is. And then the other thing I need to do is I need to make two different machines. So we're going to place two of these machines down. Okay, and then I should be able to just go to Yeah, so I think it's this one. Yeah, the beryllium aluminum. That's the one. Confirm. So that should be it coming in now. So this one is going to make, so it's going to be copper, yeah, beryllium and copper, so tau rheostats. This one's going to make reactive gauge. I see what you made there. Hmm, smart. There we go. XP farm. We're getting there. Level seventy eight. As much as I want to do targeting control, I need to do payloads. So, let's figure out what this is. 
Make 10 grab jumps with 75% or more of maximum cargo capacity. Well, I'm pretty sure I can do that pretty quick. Hello, YouTubers. Hello, Starfield players. Welcome back. Dread is here. All right, everybody. Well, I was very busy today, last night, and I was building a network of bases. Where does it all start? Well, let's just say we'll start here because these, I think, are... So these feeder bases... Uh, let's take a quick look at it using the... This here. So I've got the beryllium and the aluminum. So there's the aluminum over there, and then the beryllium is over here. And as you can see, it's just a nest. Now there is only one, there is one thing that is made here. Right? And that is... Adaptive frames. So I have iron coming to this base from Alpha Centauri. So the iron comes in and uh, it basically goes with the aluminum. So that means that the very first base is the one on Grissom. So Grissom has the helium and the iron. So I've got iron and helium here that then goes to the other solar system because you need the helium in order to power the ships that are going from solar system to solar system. So that's what this nodule at the back is. And then that allows, if you don't have it, then it won't travel to the next solar system. You have uh, platforms that are just solar system only, and then you have ones that are interstellar. And the interstellar ones need the helium. So that's coming back from where we just were. So now that we covered the outskirts, we have the main one, which is Zamka. And the aluminum and the beryllium are coming into here, into Zamka Outpost 2. So the copper, right, allows all this to be made. We've got like four machines here. So I should probably start at the other end. So this machine is making tau grade rail stats with copper and beryllium. Copper's made here. This one is reactive gauge, and reactive gauge is copper and aluminum. So those two are definitely the ones that came from uh, that moon. This one's making austenetic manifolds. So this one you need the reactive gauge and the iron and the nickel. So the reactive gauge is the one that's right next to it. This one over here. And then we have this one, which is mag pressure tanks. So I have nickel and aluminum that are coming here. And the nickel comes from the very first Zamka base. So to see like how it's wired, you 
you can see this is kind of how I loom it. This bin, and then this one's going into this bin, and back into this machine, and back into this bin, and out. So that's kind of the path. And then this is all the copper up here on the hill. But yeah, you can see it gets to be a bit of a mess. And uh, just ends up being like an array of bins and wires. And then we're back to Zamka 1. This actually shows my old base. I picked up something you might be interested in. Now the thing about the old base is that I had everything go to one planet. And I just was like listening to that screaming noise of engines non-stop there. It was so frustrating. So I was like, I gotta get all this stuff like separated. So I'd only have like one ship coming in. Where at the base that I'm actually gonna spend time at. Like that would be a mod I'd be interested in. Would be one that turns the volume of those ships on or off. So I have all these magnets. And then I have the comm relays. And that was my last episode when I was like courting Sarah, or at least we were out here. And this is the end result is this particular base so far. So it doesn't look like much here, but then the fact that you add the other three planets, and you're like, oh, that's a lot. So now I gotta make sure everything is running, which means basically I gotta go and run from planet to planet, just perfecting it, trying to make sure everything's working properly, following loose wires. See, this is what happens is that you end up working on it all day, like I did yesterday, and then you wake up in the morning and you're like, I have no idea where I left off. So, cause it's like a multi-day project. <laughs> You wanted to talk, Sarah? Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. I hope it isn't bad news. Not at all. It's just a list of requests, but when you read between the lines, it's obvious my absence is causing issues. You feel like you're ignoring your responsibilities. Are you upset that I'm keeping you away from the lodge? You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here. Let me explain. At least Constellation has been a great success. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. So you're afraid that your absence will cause Constellation to collapse? Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Don't worry, Sarah, we'll figure this out together. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. I guess I have been taking up Sarah's time building these bases and she hasn't been working on what she wants to work on. So, who knows? Maybe I should be leaving her back at the lodge. Or maybe I should be doing the missions with her. Either way, let's take a quick look at the bases. So this one is all copper, right? So now we're on to Zamka 2. This one is nickel and cobalt. You can see it is just peppered with drilling rigs and power. You can see here, this is almost full now with comm relays. I 
And then this one here. Uh, I want to take everything but the Tau Rio stats. We'll leave those in there. And I'm looking for full bins. Like this one here is not full. This one's not full either. That's good. That's what I want. That's what I expected. We'll look at Grissom. So Grissom, everything is leaving Grissom. I had to put this in in order to get uh, some of the items to go back through. That's perfect. It's doing what I want it to do. Go into Tolamon. Take a look over here. Oh, I don't know. A few trees here and some grass there and this place might not look so awful. So it has a lot of processors. These are all aluminum processors. I have three going to here and then I have what looks like four going to here. It's the one that's heading out? No, it's the full one is the one that's heading to the machine because it doesn't have enough iron. And the only issue I have is that the iron comes in here, it goes here, it goes here, and then both the iron goes over there and then this also goes over here. So I'm hoping that when the iron comes in that it splits. My last base is this one at Jemison. So one thing I found out with this planet is that stuff gets damaged. So stuff wears out. I don't know why it's a mechanic, but it is. But you can see like the integrity. There's integrity. And you'll see a button that says repair will pop up right there i see now it says integrity and then there's a button that says repair hit c now it's repaired so yeah if you run into that problem you have to go and repair everything just to get it to function which is interesting but yeah, so there you go. There's a base build. And getting a bunch of resources. And now I'm able to uh, go and sell those resources and just make a whole bunch of money. Just as I play. I'll just end up popping over there and I'll grab some stuff and I'll sell it. And it'll just be part of my whole gameplay. So thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks for coming back. And join me again as we get into some starfield action